When you pick up a typical AA or AAA battery, there's a good chance you've never really questioned its shape. It's a small cylinder, metal casing, maybe some branding. And on one end, there's that tiny raised metal bump. That little nipple, as it's informally called, seems so simple, but it plays a surprisingly important role in how batteries function, connect and power our devices. It's more than just a design quirk. It's a fundamental part of how batteries communicate with electronics. In this video, we're going to unpack the reason behind that small metal bump, explore its electrical purpose, and reveal the surprisingly meticulous engineering behind something you've probably never paid attention to. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics of how a standard cylindrical battery, like a AA or AAA, works. These are known as primary batteries, meaning they are usually non-rechargeable. Inside, you'll find a complex chemical reaction happening between two terminals, a positive terminal, cathode, and a negative terminal, anode. When you insert a battery into a device, you're essentially completing a circuit that allows electrons to flow from the negative terminal through the device and back to the positive terminal. That flow of electrons is what powers your flashlight, your remote control, your wall clock, basically anything with a battery slot. The design of the battery itself needs to clearly define where the positive and negative terminals are located so devices can orient them properly. That's where the metal nipple comes in. That bump you see at one end of a battery? That's the positive terminal. The flat side on the other end? That's the negative terminal. This standardized design ensures that when you insert a battery into a device, it's physically intuitive. You can match the plus and symbols just by aligning the shape. But why does the positive terminal need to be raised at all? Why not just print a plus sign and leave both ends flat? The answer lies in mechanical and electrical design. The raised bump serves several key purposes, the first being polarity enforcement. Devices are designed so that only the raised end can make contact with the positive terminal of the battery compartment. This reduces the chance of inserting batteries the wrong way, something that could potentially damage electronics or prevent them from working altogether. Second, the nipple acts as a precision contact point. In many battery-powered devices, especially those that use multiple batteries in series, the batteries are stacked end-to-end. -end. The raised nipple ensures that the contact points are securely touching and that there's a consistent low-resistance connection across each battery. Flat-to-flat -flat connections are less reliable, especially in devices that may be jostled or moved around a lot. Another reason for the nipple is standardization. Organizations like the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, have long set strict guidelines for battery design. The raised positive terminal has become a part of this global standard. That means no matter which brand of AA battery you buy, from Duracell to Energizer to a cheap no-name brand, their positive ends will all look and feel the same. This allows device manufacturers to build battery compartments that are universally compatible without needing to worry about differences in shape. From a manufacturing standpoint, the bump also simplifies how batteries are inserted into production lines and consumer devices. Machines that test, sort, or insert batteries into packaging can quickly detect the positive end just by its shape. The nipple becomes not just an electrical marker, but a mechanical cue for automation, speeding up production and reducing error rates. Now, if we were to crack open a typical AA battery, we'd find that the internal structure actually necessitates the bump. The center of the battery contains the positive electrode, which is usually connected to a collector rod running down the middle of the cell. 
This rod needs to protrude slightly to form an external contact point, and that protrusion becomes the bump we see. In contrast, the negative terminal is made by connecting the outer metal canister, which can end flat because it surrounds the entire battery casing. This design makes it easier to manufacture a sealed battery that's leak resistant. The positive nipple is often crimped onto the battery casing during final assembly, sealing in the internal chemical components while still providing a functional contact point for electrical current. Beyond connectivity and ease of use, the raised bump also contributes to safety. Batteries are sensitive to short circuiting. If both terminals touch conductive material, the battery can heat up, leak, or even explode. By raising one end, batteries become less likely to short out when carried loose in a pocket or drawer. It's a small but meaningful layer of protection. Some high drain devices like digital cameras or certain motorized toys draw a lot of current in a short period of time. The raised nipple ensures there's sufficient contact area to support that flow without overheating or sparking. This is especially important in devices that use multiple batteries in series, where poor contact at one junction can compromise the entire device. It's worth noting that not all batteries have a raised terminal. Coin cells, 9-volt batteries, and lithium-ion packs often have different form factors entirely. Their designs are optimized for their specific use cases. Coin cells for compact electronics, 9 volts for smoke alarms, lithium ion for smartphones and laptops. But in nearly all battery designs, the principle remains the same. Clearly marked, physically distinct terminals to ensure safe and reliable operation. In the case of button cells, for example, the positive terminal is often the flat, larger surface, while the negative terminal is the smaller underside. In these compact forms, space constraints and device requirements dictate a flatter design. But even here, some cells incorporate subtle textures or markings to indicate polarity. So, the next time you change the batteries in your remote or flashlight, Take a second to appreciate that tiny metal bump. It's not just there to look cute. It's the result of decades of engineering, standardization, and safety design. It helps your device know which way is up, ensures strong electrical contact, and keeps your gadgets running smoothly. What seems like a small, throwaway feature is actually a cornerstone of battery design. Proof that sometimes the tiniest parts are the most important. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.